Hello and welcome back to this tutorial on creating a simple PHP strategy game. Now, in the last part, we had worked with updating the user's attack, defense, income, and farming. I just made one change to it. Instead of having a 4 times the number of workers, I made it 2 times the number of workers. This way, you're not getting as much gold, but you're still getting a decent amount per worker. So now in this part of the tutorial we are going to be working on the battle players page. Now as you can see here in the navigation I added the S and what this page is going to do as I'll show you right now is going to show all the ranked users and how much gold they have. Now I already tried recording this video, so the code is already there, which means that this time again, you're going to have to copy and paste the code, as well as listen to me go on and on about it. But it's fairly straightforward, and I just have to explain a few things. So what we're first going to do is go into our database. Now, as you can see here, I've added this ranking table and we have four fields the ID which is auto increment and the primary index right here then we also have our attack defense and overall ranking now this game is going to focus solely on your attack and defense for you to be ranked so as you can see here, test account has zero attack and zero defense. Now, if we switch over to the other account, Copophobia, you'll see that he has 10 attack and 10 defense. Now, it makes sense that since he has higher in both, that he would be ranked overall better. So, now if he had, say, 10 attack and zero defense, and the number two account had zero attack and 10 defense then it may be switched around again depending on other various factors so now that we have that we're going to go to our rankings.php page Sorry. as you can see I've already copy and paste or I've already got the code down it's fairly simple hold on sorry about that my throat is just congested right now at any rate so like the other pages we have our session start our header and then we check to see if they're logged in and that goes down to here and then we include the footer now again like most other pages we have the center and h2 tags which will have the title of the page just a simple break line and then we begin our table to display all the users who have registered. So the first row, as you can see right here, is just saying rank, username, and gold. And this is going to be pretty standard. You can also add other things, like if you wanted to add, you know, food as well, or population. Those are other things that we will probably get to later on. But for right now, this is what you want. Because if users are trying to see who has the most gold, it makes them a little bit easier to find it. That way they don't have to go digging through everybody and wasting any sort of turns attacking it. Okay, so we have our first row right here. I'll pause the video now so you can copy and paste it. Okay, now we have our PHP code, which is the main I don't know just the main chunk of this page so right here this first query we have select ID and overall from ranking where overall is greater than zero and we order it by the overall ranking ascending so basically we take the users ID and their overall rank from this page where the overall ranking is greater than zero. Now, this just means that players who haven't joined will not be ranked. 
so that way they can't be attacked and things like that. But of course, uh, once we set up our cron jobs, which I'll get to in a later tutorial, we'll notice that uh, the rankings will be updated probably every 10 or 15 minutes. So the user who just joined may not have so long of a period of grace, but we can always change that by adding other features. And then we order by overall ranking ascending, which means you start off at rank 1 and then, di and then display rank 2, 3, 4, and so on. And then we have our standard or die MySQL error. Now, this query right here returned some number of rows. And what we're doing with this while loop is while row equals MySQL fetch a source, get users, this loop itself goes through each and every row that is returned from this get users query. So basically, we have all the ranked players. So now we have to echo our row tags. And then right here, we're echoing the column, then the overall rank, and then the ending column. That way, you see you see their rank. Then what we do here is we have our get user query, which we select username from user where ID is equal to row ID, and row ID is the user who we selected from the ranking. So now that we have that, then we just fetch the associative array there. We echo out this column with a link to the user stats page. Now the the page itself is going to be called stats.php question mark id is equal to their id and we'll see how that works in the next tutorial. So we display their id in the in the anchor tag, then we also display their username as you can see here. And if you look towards the bottom, well, hold on. Now you see stats.php is equal to, or ID equals 1, sorry. So then we go back here, close the anchor tag, close the column. Then we get their gold. Now we can also get like their food or possibly their population as well. So what we do here is we select gold from stats where again, ID is equal to row ID. This way, we have their gold with the MySQL fetch source, and we essentially do the same thing here as we do here. We echo out a column, and then the formatted gold, so that way once they get into the thousands and millions, things like that, you'll see the commas, so it looks a little bit cleaner. And then you just have to close your thing and then don't forget to close the table tag. Um, I mean, that's pretty much it. If we go here, you'll see that stats.php was not found because we haven't created it yet. Um, as you can see here, a visited link is purple while an unvisited link is blue. Again, if you wanted to change that in the style.css, you can always say, I don't know, um, believe this will work and we just say text color oopsie font color silly me no oh that's right sorry um wow color one two three four five six all black and if we refresh the page you'll see that they are now black which that looks a little bit cleaner so we can leave it as that. Again, you can go green, red, silver, aqua, maybe even plaid. If they have a plaid color, that would be uh, pretty crazy if I do say so myself. So we're going to leave it at that. Um, let me just check how much time we have left. So again, um, I have about like five minutes left in this video, but I think we've covered all that we needed to get done now. Um, oh, actually, let me just show you, on the main page right here, I've added the farming and the income. So, 
if we go over to main.php it's really rather simple you just take this gold section copy and paste it change gold to income and instead of include or instead of echo stats gold we echo stats income and then the same thing for farming underneath food so that's pretty much that um, I don't think I've changed anything else really so in the next part of this tutorial we will be dealing with the stats page and we will be getting into the battle page as well which that will probably be the tutorial afterwards so I will see you in the next video.